the chariots of the Wayne Riders go into battle in today's dormous days land battle for you today and we have a glorious 3v3 here as we are checking out the Wayne Riders submod once again and uh, yeah I'm a big fan of this uh, this submod it's certainly for like land battles is really really fun I think um, and yeah it's um, developed by um, a sub of mine and a good, uh, a good friend of mine who, uh, yeah, he's put a lot of work into this and still is uh, putting a lot of work into this. Very, very fun and very unique sort of uh, support uh, set earlier in the Third Age when the Wayne Riders are also like Khan or something from the East are like really, really strong. Uh, I think they've like, the taken like, from Khan and like, Rude and like places like that. But yes, yeah, so we have in this uh, land battle, we do have, of course, the Wayne Riders. They have to be in this battle, uh, otherwise, you know, we can't have a Wayne Riders battle without the Wayne Riders. We then have Angmar here. Uh, who's sort of uh, making it, let's say, the center. And then the left here is, um, I think these are the dwarves. Dwarves of Khazad-Doom, I believe this is their emblem. Um, so yeah, we have uh, Khazad-Doom here. I could be wrong, it's not Khazad-Doom, but I think it is, Durin's Guard. Yeah, they're reeks of Khazad-Doom. Then they're facing off against over here. I actually can't remember the name of this faction. I think it's Hithlum. Something like that is the name of this uh, faction. I can't remember the name of it, I do apologize. We then have Ravani in here, and we then also do have uh, Gondor, or pretty much like Gondor. I think they are still called Gondor in this uh, this version as well. But they've got a whole different sort of roster. Uh, they're not like the Gondor you know and love, very, very different. Um, but yes, yeah, so it looks like uh, the Wayne Riders here are playing very, very aggressive, trying to uh, pretty much just try and rush down one of these players. So we've got Cavalry of the Camp here, like a, a hybrid unit. They look like they might be like Javi and also uh, like Shock Cav. That's a very cool sort of uh, style. You know, we've got a lot of these Wayne Riders as well. The chariots are not very good against cavalry, but against infantry, these guys can do a lot of work. So I guess that's why Ravanians probably moved over here to try and challenge um, the Wayne Riders, try and stop them. We do sort of, I, I'm calling them Hithlum, but I don't think they are called Hithlum. Um, but yeah, they are moving forward as well. They've got, they're also looking like a very Eastern sort of style uh, faction as well with a lot of horse archers. Riders of Aurora. I think they're one of the newer factions, which is why I don't recognize them. Um, but yeah, they're moving forward. And then we also have over here, actually, what do we have? A Chieftain's Guard bodyguard. It's a Javi general. Okay, interesting. And the dwarves are very much on top of the hill right now. And what do we have here? Wargs of Angmar. They're about to go rushing in. Uh, Ravanian's bog, uh, uh, bog hunters here are very much open to be taken out. And so these Selduin fishermen. Um, yeah, like the a Ravanian is pretty much just like sort of a mishmash of like the ancestors of uh, or the predecessors of um, of uh, the Rohirrim. We also have uh, like Dale and Dorwinian sort of like merged in because that's kind of like what well, the the uh, the Manish people of Ravanian are made up of at that point. They're not kind of uh, split up yet and become different sort of states as we now know and love them in later Third Age. Um, but yeah, it looks like, and I, I think Hithlum's similar sort of uh, state. We have like, I think they're like sort of like a dwarves. We have Orokani, uh travelers here. We also have some like Manish or people. We have step spears. So they're kind of like a, a, a mix of different peoples as well. I'm not really exactly sure what they are. And then Gondor's Gondor, because everyone knows Gondor. Gondor's been around a long time. They're about to get charged. He's Otar here, pretty much Gondor sword infantry. They're getting charged here by the Wayne Riders. They need to pull through. That's how um, chariots work. It's the best way you use them. We have the War Wains going in here uh, along the front of the Cavs. A counter charging now for Ravanian. Uh, yeah, War Wains starting to die pretty quickly actually already. They are going to try and get stuck in. You can see some of the, uh, the Cav here. They can look very much more like Germanic sort of like uh, Riders, but not like as heavily armored as they are by the War of the Ring. But there you go, Wayne, uh, War Wayne's already routing. This one's done a little bit better. It's actually pulled through, and uh, it really needs to just carry on and try and get these Javis. But yeah, really good uh, Javis there from the uh, Chieftain's uh, Guard. I just realized it says Chief's Tan. Chief Tans, and he's having Enemy an extra eye in there. Um, but yeah, then we've got Argon of the Marksman. They're also trying to try and duel with the crossbows over here, the sal uh, Salvage Bolters. I think that is supposed to be Salvage Bolters. Savage Bolters would also be fine, but I think it is Salvage. And then we've got the cavalry of the camp being focused down. I think that's because of Paul Micro. I think the uh, Wayne Rider player busy with his chariots and he's not uh, looking at his cav. And yeah, uh, Paul Masek there needs to just pull through those chariots and use them uh, aggressively. Uh, the chariots and trolls and mummer kill, you can pull those guys through. That's absolutely fine. That's how they work. Um, but this, this player did not. He's got plenty more. Hopefully he learns from his lesson. A lot more war wanes back in. These guys can can rack up a lot of kills. They've got step chariots here, which are a lighter chariot. 
and they have missile capability. They are just getting shot, by the way, for free. This uh, this uh, Wayne Rider player is not paying attention and just allowing his, uh, his units to get focused down. Uh, Gondor, though, doing a really good job sort of just being the uh, screen of infantry here and then the cavalry coming up to support if uh, the chariots go in and then the cav counters the chariots. Doing a very good job. Uh, more, yeah, these horse archers here. It's, Wayne Riders, you know, are known for a, a bow cab, and they have pretty broad, broad no bow cab. They've got a few, like, hybrid missile units, but yeah, Ravani and, and also, like, Hithlum here are, like, uh, doubling up really nicely on the Wayne Riders, and they're bringing, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, bow cab to bear in this one. It will be interesting to see how the uh, mountain trolls here, or the hill trolls, as you call them. I don't know if they've been buffed. There are, oh, there's nine of them in the units. That would suggest maybe. Uh, here we go with more chariots going in, though. I think some units uh, have extra buffs in with uh, trolls, like shock and tree. And well, what is this? Chief things of the Orthang. Oh, yeah, of course. At this point, the Orthang is still in control of Gondor. But that was a much better charge. There you go. Yeah, the player learned clearly that he needs to pull these units through because he's destroyed that uh, Chief thing of the Orthang. He's going to go for the units here. Ravani, though, has arrived with Cav. Again, he's kind of got himself stuck. I don't know if that's because of the Cav, maybe. But he's got a decent charge off there on the on the Otar. And the Cav's now going in, cavalry of the camp. Another Wayne uh, might be about to go in here against this, uh, against this sword infantry. Just keep pulling through. Whether well, he's just having issues. I don't know. I feel like that, that's definitely a pull throughable uh, unit there. Maybe not. We're going to see, looks like missiles here. They're going to start trying to focus through these uh, Wayne riders as well. And he, he actually did get a pull through off, sort of. Just going with all of them, though, just cause as much carnage as he can. And then, really, Angmar and also um, Kazadoom need to be getting aggressive because right now the Wayne Riders are playing themselves out of the game. They're having to be aggressive because it's the only way they can play. They can't play anywhere else, uh, any other style with this, this build. And yet, because they're having to be aggressive and their teammates are just kind of taking a long time to set up, get on this nice hill, he's dying because of it. Like, the, the dwarves have a ballista as well, so they're wanting to play defensive. So their builds don't really uh, aren't really compatible. Yeah, hill trolls going in are going to deal with these bog hunters. It's a good way to sign some poor from Ravani and not um, pulling back his archers. But maybe it's all part the of his plan. Enemy general, enemy general is dead. I imagine that's the Wayne Rider general. He's been focused down. and looks like by uh, I'd imagine by horse archers. Yeah, it looks like the horse archers. The back lines there focusing on the Wayne Rider general. And there you go. The great Waynes are gone. Uh, he's still got some more war wanes to go in, but not many. And there you go, Rabani getting a counter charge, getting some of these uh, Savage Bolters. So even though the trolls have done a good bit of damage on archers, not going to do too much. The walks here pretty much break almost instantly. Being charged by Cav here. And here comes the Wish King of Angmar leading the way. Really, the dwarves just need to get into action. They need to be aggressive at this One point. Of our units has used all its I mean, obviously there's a lot of Cav as an issue. Uh, Cav uh, superiority is a problem, but there's not much you can do about that. I mean, the, uh, this ballista is probably going to get picked up by archers uh, in one way or another. Uh, I think more of the Waynes and the yeah, uh, runner go in here. This might be, uh, I was going to say, might be okay, but actually they've been stopped pretty much in their track there by javelins. I think that's what's uh, killing them off here. And there you go. Run down as many of these guys as you can. Yeah, that's pretty much another dead Wayne unit. I don't think they're getting more than like 40 kills, some of these units. There you go, War Wayne's trying to do their bit. Cav in the back line, Jay, got that ballista. Actually, well, I haven't killed it yet, but they're going to kill it, I'd imagine. The men are running! What is this? Stand Barrow White's gonna send those you. guys back. I mean, I'd have them in the front lines, try and tie down as much as you can. That's what they're there for. Uh, Archer Fire trying to focus on these Seldwin fishermen. Definitely another thing they also need to try and sort out is the uh, discrepancy in range. I think the, uh, if we call them the good guys, I don't know if we really call them that because there are good guys on the other side, but uh, Ravanian and their alliance have a lot of missiles. And Ravanian's actually going to go in here, charge these savage bolters of Angmar. Not a bad charge, but nothing great, really. I mean, they're actually. Bolters are breaking, jeez, they're, they break pretty quickly. I and mean, they have lost a fair amount of bolters, actually, as well. This one's breaking, though, at less, with just about 60 losses. So, yeah, they clearly don't have great morale, just rely on numbers. But, yeah, that's that's not great uh, at all. We've got Grim Spears in here, they're breaking. My gosh, Angmar's capitulating already. 
Jeez, I mean, I hope the hill trolls are really strong because otherwise, yeah, he's invested his money into the wrong stuff, I'd say. But yeah, already lost one troll. Yeah, a lot of these, like, chrome spears and these weak and stuff are just breaking immediately. They are, like, tier ones. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they're dying pretty quick. Heavy trolls going back in. The hill trolls are going to try and slow down these units. The shock infantry, though, does have a good counter to trolls. And they go, start to whack it away, boys. Start to whack it away. There you go, Cav coming in, trying to just engulf what is uh, here of Kazadoom. I think they're going to try and sandwich them between the bow Cav here and then also the, the Cav of Ravani. They are going in. You can see here, look at this, this is uh, Mithra and Miners here. They're being charged. And even those horse Cav, like uh, bow Cav, sorry, horse Cav, even those uh, bow Cav, still getting great charge though, and light shock infantry. And the Savage Bowls here, which seem to just break at the sheer sight of an enemy. There you go, Mithril Miners, they're pretty much gone. What's this sitting around? Longbeard and Legions, an axe infantry with uh, missile capability. Yeah, it's kind of, I feel like, poor plays from... From, like, I guess we'll call them the Forces of Evil, though, Kazadoom is in there. Because they can't, look at this, they're blobbing up. I mean, they're just allowing all this missile capability to be free. I mean, lack of cav has not helped. But, yeah, I feel like Wayne Ryan is playing a little bit too aggressive. Maybe should have uh, pulled back behind their... Uh, their like uh, allied forces, and um, because now, I mean, they'd be great. The Wayne Riders now would be great. I know they've, there's a bit of a, they've done a bit of weakness themselves uh, over here. I have the Wayne Riders killing some of the swords, but look, there's so many units open that right now, chariot, chariot could just run down if it wanted to. Are the trolls breaking? Trolls are breaking. They break in this uh, mod. They don't really do that in main mod. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Seven out of nine they broke, and that is incredible. Look at this, yeah, Durin's Guard's General, the Crossbow General, looks pretty cool. Oh, it's pretty much like um, Thorin the Third. his unit just like multiplied for Durin's Guard. Longbird Legion here as well, they're uh, turning and facing, they look pretty cool, you know, actually. I do quite like them with these guys. I don't know why, they kind of give me like um, Warhammer vibes, just being cool like Longbeards. Yeah, it's just pretty much Casa Doom left, and they're just getting surrounded by outriders and herders of Ravanian. I mean, there isn't much in the left in the way of melee capability. Gondor doesn't seem to have a lot left. Volunteers, uh, infantry, there are quenny of the White Tree. The uh, but they still have a lot, like a lot of bows. They could just surround Casa Doom here and just focus them down if they wanted to. The men are running, cowards! I mean, they could also just charge where the crossbows are. I mean, the, the bow cab is all like, looking at the spears, just turn and face the other way, charge the crossbows. The uh, Hearthmen are coming forward here. The Hehun. Is that maybe what they're called? Not Hithlum, Hehun? I can't remember. I'm, I'm so sorry, uh, Bane, that I can't remember the name of one of your factions. As I know, Bazaar Arbalest is going in. I like the name. It looks a very fun name. But they're going to die very quickly, are these Arbalest. Shocking Dread just munching through them. Now the general is nearly vulnerable. There's another uh, Arbalest here that's about to go in. Looks like he's going to try and challenge the chieftain's guard. Not a bad idea. It's a shock infantry. Uh, sorry, a, a skirmish general. Try and kill him. If things break that quickly, you've got a chance of killing him. The dwarf's getting stuck in. And there, yeah, there you go, shock infantry going in. Also looks like the cab surrounding the long beards here. Yeah, there you go, Jordan's guard. The boat so they're getting killed off. And they are technically in melee, I think, because of the shock infantry. I just sent the cab in. I mean, what are they going to charge here? White wall, maybe not. If it's a, a unit, it's called wall. Usually means it's pretty strong. But I mean, maybe the fishermen can maybe charge the white wall. There you go. The white wall activated to go in the melee now. Now they get rear charged. That's what the player was ready for. Really nicely done by Hithlum. Hithlum is definitely something to do with um, 
like Middle Earth. I just can't remember what it is. Maybe it's um, it probably. I think it might be a first age uh, faction, in fact. Um, but I'm just awful with names at the moment. And there you go. They're going to try and focus down Durin's guard because he's just boxing up. And I don't blame him to be honest. Just kill him that way. It's the old-fashioned way of doing it. The dwarves have survived longer, I think, than certainly Angmar did. But dwarves fighting dwarves. The Orokani fighting the uh, Arbles of Azan Bazaar. So many resources. I mean, the battle was not in favor of the uh, of Ravana and their allies to start with. They've actually turned this in their own favor. Uh, the riders of Aurora, I just charge them in. A medium boat cav, yeah, they're probably do okay on this. One of our units can no longer fire. And they've done okay so far. Yeah, Durin's guard has been focused down. It's thick. It's a fairly, actually, yeah, they're losing that. There you go, Durin's guard. Uh, breaking, I just run him down once he breaks out of uh, breaks out of that, that box there. Make sure he dies. White wall. I don't know what they're trying to do. Whether they're trying to, uh, he's trying to retreat them to his lines. The enemy is yeah, he's going to get them run down by doing that. Him. I say that. It doesn't seem like the Prince of Dracine is actually getting a lot done. The boat cap unit. It actually looks like the white wall is going to get back. We have to seriously make a triangle and box up. That is, that is kind of cheesy. At this point, I'm like, yeah, just screw it. I'm just going to. But you're not inflicting any losses being a pain. I like how the Barrowites are still fighting off. I guess at least with them him, technically Angmar's not dead yet. They're still alive. A whole horde of men here fighting the Barrowites. I, just, I also wouldn't bother shooting them because I feel like you're just going to kill more of your own friendlies. There's only like 12 of them left. There you go. Barrowites nearly dealt with and it looks like the dwarves are nearly dying as well. As soon as get side shots, back shots into the uh, white wall, it should kill them fairly quickly. But we'll see. I'm just going to fast forward uh, a little bit while we just wait because there's nothing really exciting going on. But yeah, if you haven't checked out the Wayne Rider sub mod and you want to do so, then do um, check out the link. It's in the description of this video. It's pretty fun. It's uh, you know it's used fair amount. You can't use it with other sub mods. It is a one. A uh, sort of unique uh, submod for itself because the yeah, factions aren't balanced with other factions. The men are They're broken and running for their Wayne lives. Rider factions against Wayne Rider factions. Um, but yeah, it's still really fun. I like using it occasionally. It certainly makes a nice little change. And it's nice to come and check it out as well. Uh, Bane sent this replay to me a little while ago. And uh, I haven't really got any other Dawn Stage replays at the moment uh, to cover. So I thought I'd just show this one off. Uh, because it's, it's not the closest, but you know, it's another advertisement of the submod. Which, you know what, as a... Australia, that's the least I can do is advertise these submods and show them off. I have actually got another submod I'm going to be showing off this weekend as well for Dawn's Days, um, which is new and looks very exciting. And it's also set in another period of Middle Earth, which is also looking very, very fun. But it is for Dawn's Days, it's like it was a Dawn's Days submod. Um, it is for Attila, I should say. There you go, Fishman going in under them. Pulling through accidentally, or what, what was going on there? They're just trying to encircle these guys and try and break them. Still, still have two and a half minutes left. Um, I guess that could be just killing off the Barrow Whites. Honestly, could be. I really do not know. But we're going to fast forward anyway and just Our see what happens. The dwarves, the I would have thought, this surrounded. No general. I would have thought even the White Wall would break. But I don't know. Maybe Bane's giving these guys some insane stats, which they honestly might do. They might have some just ridiculous uh, stats that, you know, make them unbreakable. But we'll have a look. And uh, yeah, the Barrow Whites here, I mean, they will fight them pretty much the last white. Uh, they, they, that's the benefit of them being undead, you know, they, they don't know when to give up. Uh, I was surprised by the trolls breaking though, but it, it makes a change, I guess. Uh, some people have been saying as well that like, oh, trolls, like, unbalance this mod to make it, uh, you know, with trolls on your side, you're always going to win. Well, that happened for, our, uh, for Angmar today, they have not won. We've got Bogateri here with full ammunition as well, Skirmish Cav. Hopefully they can get some shots off and get some kills on the white wall there. But yeah, it's a, it's a fun old uh, submod. We can have a quick look at some of these units as well. I mean, they look pretty fun. I kind of like the look of these guys. They're looking very sort of like Slavic, with a bit of a, obviously like the um, models as well from the main mod. Yeah, the Bog Hunters, they kind of look a bit more like Dalian, um, or like Dalian slash Ravanian. Um, but yeah, it's fun, fun submod. I mean, obviously it's not like all unique models. It's mainly like just rehashed stuff, like these are the Mountain Claimers. The old version, I think. I don't think they have that shield anymore. I could be wrong. I really can't remember. Um, 
yeah, 80 more seconds and we should see the white wall finally break. It seems like they are the ones that are just holding on, I think. Yeah, all the whites are gone. It is just, yeah, getting rid of the white wall. And there you go, they master out. And there you go, a close victory for Ravanian. Uh, this one was sent in, yeah, by Bane, who was playing as a Ravanian himself. So thank you very much, man, for sending this one in. His Hunter's getting 108 kills. He really did go Cav spam to try and counter those um, Wayne Riders. He's got 122 kills here with the Herders, 160 with his Drazina, 122 with the uh, Velmos. Uh, and then we've got Bulk playing as ha Harim. I do apologize. That's the, the faction name. It's not uh, Hild Hilden or whatever I was calling it. Hilduin. Um, the Herhun Hearthman getting 168 kills, uh, 350, 160, 170. Yeah, got good kills. Uh, his Orakari and Travis Cindy getting 100 kills there. And then his Bokav 152, 171, 108. Then we have Blackjack playing as uh, Gondor, 91 kills with his general, 200 kills with his chieftain of the Orthan here. But yeah, nothing else getting massive kills, getting kind of mowed down by Wayne Riders. Then we have Coke Slayer playing as Kazad Doom. His White Wall all got triple figures 112, 133, 181, 128 kills with one of the Arbalasts, and his Ballista getting 13 kills. Then we have Christopher Crippen playing as Angmar. Uh, yeah, really, I mean, look at that. Apart from the trolls, nothing got great kills. The Wargs, 94, 60. Uh, Hill Trolls, 171 kills, 193. And Jackaboy playing as the Wayne Riders. Some of them actually did pr pretty well. 220, 104. But yeah, a lot of them, uh, like double figures, nothing insane. And this Cavalry of the Camp, 94 kills. But there you go, guys. That is today's Dawn of Stays battle. If you did enjoy and want to check out more Wayne Riders stuff, there's a few more appearing on your screen now, along with some of the great, great Dawn of Stays replays. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.